an external ventricular drain, also known as an extraventricular drain or ventriculostomy, is a device used in neurosurgery that relieves elevated intracranial pressure and hydrocephalus when the normal flow of cerebrospinal fluid around the brain is obstructed. This is a plastic tube placed by neurosurgeons and managed by ICU nurses and critical care paramedics to drain fluid from the ventricles of the brain and thus keep them decompressed, as well as to monitor intracranial pressure. Koch's point, the tube is most frequently placed in Koch's point with the goal of having the catheter tip in the frontal horn of a lateral ventricle. The catheter is normally inserted on the right side of the brain. An EVD is used to monitor pressure in patients with brain injuries, intracranial bleeds or other brain abnormalities that lead to increased fluid buildup. In draining the ventricle it can also remove blood from the ventricular spaces. This is important because blood is an irritant to brain tissue and can cause complications such as valsic spasm. Care of the patient with an external ventricular drain, the external ventricular drain is leveled to a common reference point, usually the trigus. The external ventricular drain is set in a graduated burette. The pressure level of the EVD is prescribed by a healthcare professional, usually a neurosurgeon. Leveling the EVD to a set pressure level is the basis for cerebrospinal fluid drainage. Hydrostatic pressure dictates CSF drainage. The fluid column pressure must be greater than the weight of the CSF in the system before drainage occurs. It is important that family members and visitors understand the patient's head of bed position cannot be changed without assistance. An example of a healthcare provider order regarding an EVD is, level external ventricular drain to 15 cmh 20 above midbrain, open to drain continuously, check and record cerebrospinal fluid drainage and intracranial pressure every hour. The cerebral perfusion pressure can be calculated from data obtained from the EVD and systemic blood pressure. In order to calculate the CPP the intracranial pressure and mean arterial pressure must be available. Complications EVD is an invasive procedure. It is associated with several complications categorized as below. Equals bleeding equals commonly occurs along the EVD insertion tract or in the several layers of the meninges that prohibit passage into the brain. If drilling or dural puncture is not successful, you may dissect away dura and create a secondary bleed known as an epidural or subdural hemorrhage. This situation can be life-threatening, and requires neurosurgical care. The most dreaded bleeding complication is the realistic possibility of passing a catheter through a major aberrant vessel or existing aneurysm. If this happens, the likelihood of death is significantly increased, and may be immediate. The risk of hemorrhage is increased if the patient is having coagulopathy. Equals mechanical equals, it can be subclassified into, obstruction, obstruction occlusion of EVD commonly due to fibrinous clot-like material or kinking of the tube. The brain can swell due to pressure buildup in the ventricles and permanent brain damage can occur. Physicians, nurses, and critical care paramedics often have to adjust or flush these small diameter catheters to manage medical tube obstructions and occlusions at the intensive care bedside. Pressure settings are generally measured in CMH2O. The equilibrium pressure of the EVD apparatus is adjusted based on cerebrospinal fluid output, ICP waveform, imaging including CT or MRI of the brain, and clinical response. Migration during the EVD insertion, the EVD is tunneled subcutaneously and anchored with suture. However, it is common for the EVD to dislodge or migrate. This will cause the tip of the drain migrated away from its supposed position and provides inaccurate ICP measurement or total occlusion of the drain. Infection EVD is a foreign body inserted into human body. It can serve as an object for bacterial attachment and cause ascending infection equals neurological equals, although not many neurological deficit has been reported, Chiael has reported an association of patient's coma and his EVD malplacement. In his report, the EVD was inserted too deep into the fourth ventricle. The authors hypothesized that the patient's coma was due to the EVD irritation to his reticular activation system. The patient's consciousness improved after the EVD was adjusted. See also Subarachnoid hemorrhage, 
Critical Care Nursing, Neurocritical Care, Neurointensive Care. References AB Care of the Patient Undergoing Intracranial Pressure Monitoring slash External Ventricular Drainage or Lumbar Drainage. AANN Clinical Practice Guideline Series. American Association of Neuroscience Nurses. Retrieved October 23, 2012. Kakala UK, Kim L. J., Chang S. W., Theodore N., Spesler R. F. Safety and Accuracy of Bedside External Ventricular Drain Placement. Neurosurgery 63, ONS 162 a Euro 6. Discussion ONS 166 a Euro 7 DOI 10.1227 01 0 0 DO. PMID 18728595. Chai FY, Farizal F, Jagan T. Coma due to malplaced external ventricular drain. Turkish Neurosurgery 23, 561 a Euro 563 DOI, 10.5137 over 1019 5149 JTN 5724 12.1. PMID 24101284